Let's do problem number 27. In a random sample of 500 people aged 20 to 24, 22 percent were smokers. In a random sample of 450 people aged 25 to 29, 14 percent were smokers. Construct a 95 percent confidence interval for the difference between the population proportion of the 20 to 24 year olds that are smokers and the 25 to 29 year olds that are smokers. So we have uh, a question that's asking us for a confidence interval for the difference between proportions, and it's 95%. So we basically have to find n and x for each group. So first, let's deal with the 500. We have 500 people, that's n1. That's the total sample, or the total number of observations for the first group. And we know that 22% were smokers. So 22% of the 500. So to figure out the successes, which I'll call x1, it's 22% of 500. So of means multiply, so it's 0.22 times 500. Okay, and I'm gonna put this in my, in my calculator. 0.22 times 500, yep, 110. Yeah, 110, so that would be the number of people who were smokers. And then now we'll do N2, that's 450, that's the second sample. So N2 is 450, these are observations. And then X2 would be the successes. So in this case, 14% were smokers. So 14% of, right, of means multiply, so 14% of 450. This would be 0.14 times 450, so 63. All right, we're good to go. So we have our n's and our x's, and we are set. So now all we have to do is go to StatCrunch and plug everything in. So whenever you have two proportions, it's just like one proportion, except you do it twice. You have n1x1 and 2x2. If it's one proportion, you just have n and x. This one was also a little bit trickier because they gave us a percentage, so we had to multiply to find the x, so a little bit different. All right, so we go to Stat, Proportion Stats, and then we go to to sample, and then we go to with summary. All right, so successes here is going to be 110. Observations is 500. Successes here is 63. Observations is 450. Okay, so 110, 500, 63, 450 and it's 95% confidence interval, and everything looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit compute, and I'll write the answer in decimal form, so parentheses uh, 0.03, I'll use, uh, I'll leave it like that, and then this one will be 0 0.13. Okay, let's look at the choices. I just got that from the lower limit and the upper limit. And looks like they are using more decimals than me. So let me go back and just double check how many decimals I'm using. Let me go back and use more decimals. So I'm going to use 0 0.031562, just to be safe. <laughs> 0 0.1284. Um, just, just put a bunch down. Let me see if I can pick the right choice now. So the right choice here looks to be, so they have three decimals, so I think it's gonna be this one here. I think it's gonna be B. Let me round to three decimals. Three decimals would be 0 0.032, and then 0 0.128, so that's three decimals, and that matches B, so the answer is B. Yikes, a lot of decimals there, so I should have just rounded to three instead I wrote too many down, so. <laughs> Fun times. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. Good luck.